Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number 8. We are still looking at factorizing uh, grade 12 extended mathematics. Alright, so in this video I am going to look at how to factorize by grouping. Okay, so how do you know that you should factorize by grouping? So you should look at the number of terms that are given to you. So for instance in A we have four terms and if you look at the first two terms, if you look at the first two terms, they have a common factor and if you look at the last two terms they also have a highest common factor so we are grouping the first two and also grouping the last two that, that's why the method is called factorizing by grouping so my friends i'm gonna do part a and part b and then you do part c and part, part d in your free time remember to take a picture and whatsapp to me in your free time all right so let's see how can we factorize this by grouping. So in A, these first two terms, they have a common factor. What is that common factor? That common factor is none other than Y. So Y is a common factor. Here, the last two terms, so I'm grouping the first and I'm also grouping the last two. So the last two also have the highest common factor and that highest common factor is three. Okay, so meaning that if I am to move to the next line, this is what is going to happen. And just center it. Okay, and I should also make it a little bit bigger. Mm, bigger font. Let's say 14. I think that's fine. Okay. Mm, we need to make it the biggest font 14 nice so the highest common factor is y so i'll open up the bracket so i need to keep the x open up the bracket put the y outside okay uh, it seems like it doesn't want y outside remove the x and also remove this y here and close the bracket so remember when you're factorizing, you're actually dividing this the first term by y. If you divide the first term by y, you get y. You get x, sorry, you get x here. Sorry for that, you get an x. And if you divide this term by y, you just get a 2. Then we do the same thing here. We need to identify our highest common factor, which is 3. And if we do just that, this is what is going to happen. So we say 3x divided by 3, we get an x. And then say 6 divided by 3, we get a 2. So when you're factorizing by grouping, you end up with a common factor. If you can allow me to highlight that as yellow. So as you can see, we have the common factor. Now we are going to factor that out. So this is just like a one step away from the common factor. So first you must identify the highest common factor for the first two and then so you group the first two and also you group the last two obviously you're going to have two brackets and those two brackets must have the same thing and that is now our common factor and if we figure out we remove the common factor this is what we are going to have okay copy that bring it down here paste it okay so outside we have y and plus three so that will be in one bracket okay and then our highest i mean our not highest common factor our common factor is x plus two x plus two so we just factor it out and this is what we're gonna have so we put up open up a bracket here put a y there we close the bracket here and these we can get rid of and so the y okay so from here just two two steps so you need to identify the highest common factor for the first two you group the first two which is y you take it out and then you have x plus two you also identify you group the last two identify the highest common factor which is three and then you have three times open bracket x plus two and then close the bracket and then you can see that the one in yellow have the same thing so that is your common factor now if you remove it out you're gonna have 
this and that's your final answer and by the way if you remove the bracket you are just gonna get that you go back to the original and by the way my friends this uh, I have the similar notes in this study guide so there are more exercises in this study guide if you're interested please let me know it's a great 10 11 to 12 study notes with specimen questions plus uh, 2017 to 2019 national papers and their answers so this is meant for the extended learners old curriculum so if you're interested please let me know because in that uh, start in the study guide you get more examples of this nature okay let's go to part b part b we have 4x 4a squared plus 10a so this is the first group okay remember you're grouping eh? you're grouping you're grouping the first two and also group the last two now when they say minus when they are minus or negative signs you have to be very careful because negative signs are very very tricky and negative and negative signs are the reason why learners lose marks at the final exam because they ignore or they just miss out to spot that negative sign so let's see so the first two what do they have in common the common factor will be 2a because 2 can go into 4 2 can go into 10 okay we can't go for a squared we should always go for a for for the factor or for the letter with the smallest exponent so this time around we are going for a exponent 1 and then here we have minus 6ab and minus 15b so the common factor the number will be 3 because 3 can go into 6 and 3 can go into 15 and the letter we're going to take out only b so the common factor will be 3b okay let's do it let's do it so i'm gonna copy this come on um No, 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 no. I paste it here. Okay, it seems like uh, we have some. What about this? Okay, it doesn't want, so we ignore. So let's copy again. Copy. We paste it here. Sweet. Okay, let me just make it bigger for you guys so that you are not disadvantaged okay so here the highest common factor is 2a so it's 2a open the bracket and then we say 4a squared divided by 2a we're gonna get a 2 and just an a okay because 2 times 2 is 4 a times a is a squared what about 10a divided by 2a that's going to give us just five it's going to give us just five then we close the bracket okay remember if you remove the brackets here you are going to go back to the first two here now here our common factor is going to be a negative number and that negative number is going to be negative 3a 3a open bracket okay then we start dividing negative 6ab divided by negative 3a so it's a negative number divided by a negative number so this is where most learners get confused okay so a negative number divided by a negative number our answer is going to be positive positive 2 the common factor is 3p ug not 3a so it's negative 2a i mean positive 2a sorry positive 2a so negative 6 a b divided by negative 3 b so the 3 goes into 6 2 times the b will cancel and the a will remain then you go to the last one negative 15 b divided by 3 negative 3 b again here we are dividing a negative number by a negative number so our answer is going to be positive and it's going to be 15 divided by 3 is going to be a 5 and b divided by b they will just cancel each other so now my friends i'm gonna do this again so i will highlight the common factor the new common factor because now we only have two terms eh? now we only have two terms i hope you can see those two terms so it doesn't want we only have two terms now 
Come on. I want to highlight just. No, 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 no. What is inside? But it seems like it doesn't want to try here. So this one is allowing me to do just that. I'm going to make it green. And I want to do the same thing here. Okay. Maybe I should do it parts by parts. Then. Okay. So. 2a plus 5. 2a plus 5. That is our common factor now. So we just need to factorize it out. And if we do just that. This is what we are going to have. Okay, if you can allow me to copy this again. So in the exam, they're not going to say factorize by grouping. They will just tell you to factorize. So you need to identify whether I should factorize taking out a common factor or is it by grouping or is it difference between two squares. Okay? So that's why I'm going to show you how to do all of them. How to factorize common factor grouping and quadratic trinomials okay so that's the final answer so it's 2a minus 3b then multiply everything by 2a by 2a plus 5 so that's it if you remove the brackets again you go up so highest common factor for the first two is 2a if you remove if you factorize you get 2 plus 5 Right here, the highest common factor here is negative 3b. It's a negative number. And then, if you factorize out negative 3b, it's going to get positive 2a and positive 5. So these two brackets must have the same information so that that is our new high a common factor. So right, my friends, so you should now practice with C and D. Don't forget to take a picture and share with me your answers. Thank you for watching and see you in video number video number nine.